Okay, um, so I'm just going to show how to do watermarking export out of Lightroom since they foolishly didn't include it in a in an obvious way. You can watermark, but not not in a good way. So I'm going to um, just launch this temporary catalog I've got here. <clears throat> Okay, so I've isolated some images that I want on my blog, and you can see I've got some horizontal and some vertical. And um, so I just select all the images that I want to export, and I'm going to go to print. And I've got some presets here that are, are just simple. Um, uh, you can since you're record, I'm recording this, you can look at all this stuff later, but I put a border around it, I put a little stroke around it. Um, I only have one cell, so there's not, there's just one picture per page. Um, now here's where the trick is. Everybody has identity plates in Lightroom, or well, most people do, but obviously my logo looks stupid there, so you want to make a custom one. And you, once you save this, you don't have to do this again, but I deleted mine just so I could show you guys how to do it. Um, I said make a custom one. Or not, I guess. Well, that's cool. So we'll go into the identity plate here, and we're going to... Oh, that's... I'm sorry. That was selecting... It was selecting custom. We're going to make a new one by editing. Okay, so we want to do a graphic one. We're going to locate our file. And I've already created these graphics. You can make your own to fit whatever you want to do. Um, so I'm going to do a watermark landscape. Y you want the way that I do it because of the stretched graphic or the, the gray that goes all the way across. I need to use two different logos. If you don't do it quite like this, you can get away with one file. I'm going to save this as um, landscape. And you can see it. It's it drops it right in there. I mean, you when you do this manually, you're gonna you're gonna want to, um, you know, size these to fit your logo. But you can you can have um, your logo be kind of anywhere you want. I just like mine running along the bottom down there. Um, so then you go over here, and I'm just gonna update this with current settings so that it's there. Now it looks great. Oh, see, it's not quite right. Um, I'm gonna stretch this to fit there. Okay, and then I'm going to update this again. Okay, so looks good on all my horizontal images, right? Oh, it's still over slightly. Oh, well, I'm not going to worry about it now. Um, but on the vertical ones, it obviously looks wrong. <laughs> so we're going to make another one. And all these are are just custom, like, photo, photo prints. And if Joy would stop moving my mouse, that would be good. Um, so we've got, um, this time it's a, it's a vertical instead of horizontal and the, down here at the print job, we're printing to JPEG instead of a printer, 72 DPI, here's your JPEG quality, any sharpening, you can turn that on or off if you want, um, dimensions and all that. So these are the dimensions that it'll show up on your, um, blog. So obviously this is the wrong graphic and I could, I could use my landscape one, but you'll notice it's a lot smaller than it is on the lands on the um, on the other uh, the landscape one because it's trying to compress it to fit in the same dimension. So what we're going to do instead is go up here and make another identity plate, and I've just got a shorter version of the same graphic so that it um, works better for portraits. I'm going to save this as portrait. So again, once you do this, you don't have to do it again. And you can see it fits in there nicely, pretty much. I'm not going to tweak it perfectly right now. I'm going to update this with settings. So now I can switch between the two pretty easily. Um, oh man, that's really irritating me that it's over. It's hard to do with a touchpad, not a mouse. Okay, good enough for now. Of course, I've said that before. Um, okay, so update and 
so now we've got the portrait and the landscape set up. Very cool. And you might wonder, well, well, what do you do? So there's two things you can do. One, you can just export them in two sets. You can just turn off your um, your portraits and you can export those. Or you can do what I do, just because I usually export more images than, than this. You just select all of them. You say print. I'm going to just put these on my desktop. And I'm going to call these, you know, Smith. Let's say this is the Smith wedding. Smith blog, even. Okay. Okay, so it's rendering that. Now here's the trick. Then I'm going to hit blog portrait. And I'm going to print it again. And I'm going to find where I just did it, Smith blog. And I'm going to call it Smith blog again. And you can see it's already exporting. That's what these are. It's exporting those images. Um, so what it, this is going to do is create another folder inside this one. And this gets a little funky, but trust me, it works. So now it's actually exporting the vertical and the horizontal at the same time. I'll give it a second here to finish. I wish there was a way for it to just detect vertical, you know, horizontal, vertical, and, and do this bar thing. But I think because I have the bar, it makes it difficult. I think if you're just doing your logo, it's not going to be an issue. Okay, it's almost done. It's done with the first one. It's just cranking on the second. So, well, I might have just screwed it up. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it says it's completed. So now I'm going to go out here. So here's the folder that it made, Smith Blog, and you can see it's exported this group of images. And, and these are the, the horizontal export, and they look great, of course, but you've got these in there. Well, it's pretty easy to go in here, and you can do this in a couple ways. Um, if you switch to this view, you can quickly see the ones that are portrait, right? Um, you can also just do it this way. Just find the ones that you want to move. And yeah, we know it's named the exact same thing, which is why it's handy. So just go through here, and you can look for the portraits. There's another one. And I think that's all we had. Oh, there's one. And since they were named the same things, then you can just delete this. And you can see, if I go to this view now, that we've got uh, a bunch of nice, ready to go on the blog. I'll just go to full screen here for you. So those are ready to ready to upload now. And everything's proper and properly watermarked and they're all at the right resolution because of what you set it in in Lightroom. Um, so that's kind of a quick walkthrough how I got around the fact that um, at Lightroom has foolishly left off the uh, ability to just simply watermark for your blog.